All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out as we're sitting in the Freedom Studios. It's been a while since I've been on this location, man, because the uh, travel has just been absolutely crazy as of late. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, this is an interesting week because you've got Chipman, who, uh, as of today, will most likely be confirmed. I mean, you've got the most anti-gun legislation, administration, Congress, and Senate that we have ever seen. And there are an occasional rhino in there who, oh, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing. But there's a guy who has been, uh, well, let's just say, there nobody likes the guy. I mean, look at him. He's just a turd. <laughs> and there's some previous ATF directors who said this is probably the most dangerous guy to ever uh, venture into the seat of a director of the ATF. Now, is the ATF a bad organization? Uh, I think that they've outlived their uh, usefulness. And what they're trying to do now is take something that was previously okay with everybody. And with the direction of the uh, uh, sleepy Biden himself, they basically determined that uh, everything that goes bang should be made illegal. And what, how are they going to do that? Well, first of all, they're going to take all the fun away uh, by getting rid of these guys right here. Uh, I guess a $200 tax stamp. Uh, I'm not going to get into that right now, but we're going to do a video. I'm going to put the link down below. It is an accurate link, and it's going to show you how to make your comments. And we'll do another video probably down the road talking about how to effectively make your comments so that it's more recognizable by those guys. Well, anyway, uh, this is a great little arm brace right here. And uh, unfortunately, what they've done through a point system is they are determining if it's legal or usable or whatever. And even if a manufacturer turns around and says, well, we're going to make it more in alignment with your point systems, they're like, oh, no, you can't do that. So basically, they're going to get rid of that. Uh, we've got some really cool optics. We're going to be doing some reviews on my boys over there for primary arms. And uh, check this out. This is going to go in the Freedom Office. And uh, I tell you, I can't wait to put this up. But, yeah. Interestingly enough, we've got some cool things that are happening today. So David Chipman, or whatever the hell his name is, that jackass is going to be up for confirmation. He probably will receive the votes to be confirmed. I cannot believe that. It's, it's disgusting. But more importantly, you know what's really cool? Uh, Governor Abbott signed in the constitutional carry for the state of Texas. Now, it'll be interesting to see the cause and effect. And when I say cause and effect, what I mean is talking about, because uh, all the law enforcement people from Austin, Dallas, uh, El Paso, uh, Houston, they're all Democratic run cities. And they're sitting there talking about how they're terrified of what's going to happen after this. You know, everybody's going to be allowed to carry a gun. Oh my goodness, we're just all going to be crazy. Nobody should be able to allowed to be just able to carry a gun and defend themselves. Well, here's the deal, jackasses, from you liberal cities that have sat there and said, defund the police. Look at Chicago right now. Lori Lightfoot is trying to call in the feds after she refused Donald Trump's help with, oh, I don't know, the violence in that damn city in South, Ch South Chicago, West Side Chicago. You don't see violence happening up there in Boys Town, do you? No. Lincoln Park, you see a people, bunch of people running around shooting each other? No. So it's not necessarily a gun thing. It's a demographic thing. And unfortunately, oh, they uh, decided that you can't enforce the law. But what does that do? That enables people to consistently break the law. You look at San Francisco and that meme and that video talking about the guy on the bicycle inside the Rite Aid or the CVS, and he's just bagging up stuff, and they just sit there and watch him roll out the damn door with it because they're not allowed to do their damn job. They've got people shooting in vans hunting white people. And just because, and the police can't chase them because they've been given orders not to do that. It's lack of enforcement is where the things are going crazy. And a lot of people say, well, you know, all law enforcement people are bad. No, no, they're not. And unfortunately, the world that we live in, the reality is they have to have rules to contain people who don't know how to follow good, sensible laws. So, yeah. It'll be interesting to see, and I digress going back, it'll be interesting to see what exactly happens when we're talking about constitutional carry. Yeah, I think that's a great thing. I think it should be national. But unfortunately, you've got this jackass, and along with him, all the other people who are surrounded by guns trying to take your stuff away from you. And if they can't, what they're going to do is they're going to create new rules and create new laws so that they can take guns away from you. 
the law-abiding citizen who's sitting here going, I'm not doing anything. Am I doing anything wrong? No, I'm not. And I just can't stand it. So anyway, uh, another thing that we're going to be doing next week, and I've got to get back into doing gun videos. I've just been really busy. I've got four barrels sitting right here. Uh, and we're going to do a comparison between those four barrels just from an analytic standpoint, talking about the grooves and the identifications of the grooves, uh, looking at these. Because uh, I've got from different manufacturers, but I guarantee you if we look at the inside of them, they're all manufactured by the same facility. It's interesting. So with that being said, guys, a great day for Texas. Congratulations, you people. Uh, I look forward to it. In Carolina, North Carolina at least, we have open carry. So if you can supposedly legally carry a firearm, you can carry the damn thing everywhere you want. Constitutional carry means that you can conceal carry or do whatever. But I guarantee you, with people knowing that more people are out there carrying a firearm, they have the ability to protect themselves because the defund police movement is finding out, oh, maybe that's not a wise idea, you crack asses in the big cities. No, it's not. Because if you take away the law and you take away people who, oh, I don't know, in uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they remove the incentive that it would be easy to break the law. Well, they're going to do whatever they have to do at will. And I can't stand that. With Coda Boy 32 guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Oh, I got a new muzzle brake. We're going to build a new rifle. Got a couple of them. And don't forget, we've got uh, Justin Fitch's 6.5 Creedmoor giveaway. We got the muzzle brake coming in. We're going to take that rifle. We're going to test out the Goff Jogger uh, bipod. We've got a sight mark. Uh, what do you call that thing that uh, you can see far away? Sighting scope. <laughs> and I got a lot of cool things from some other manufacturers. But I am real excited about doing an unboxing and a reveal of this guy right here. I don't know. What do you, what do you think it is? So with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. KB32. Boom.